What's up, YouTube? I'm coming back at you, man. You know, I really, I really need some more feedback, man, because I'm, I mean, I'm really like beating my head, you know what I'm saying, against the wall on this one right here. This is a real touchy subject right here. And um, like I say, man, this has really been bothering me, and I really just have to get this off my chest, you know what I mean? So I just have to vent, you know what I'm saying, and let it out. And um, this subject right here is, um, you know what I'm saying, um, who created the ghetto? Because I got a lot of friends and a lot of, you know what I'm saying, homeboys and, and a lot of people I know that claim the fame, you know what I'm saying, that they created these ghettos, not knowing really they really don't get no credit, you know, um, for saying that they created the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? I know brothers that be like out there like, man, you know what I'm saying? We 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 made the street what it is. Not not even really taking time to even do the research on the street name because they don't even know what the street name is. You know, for all they know, they can be claiming a street name that belonged to an ex um slave master or something. Cause, Cause you know what I'm saying? Um we we didn't name these streets. We did not name the streets of America. They named the streets of America. So you can be out there repping some street, you know what I'm saying? You can be like, well, this is this is um Johnson Street. Not knowing if you went and did your research on why they named that street Johnson, you might be surprised on who Johnson is. Or Edison. Or 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 any of those streets like that. You know what I'm saying? Emerson Street. You know what I'm saying? Mission Street. You don't even know who these people is. You can probably go back and do the research on these people. And these people used to have slaves. But you repping their street. See, that, that's what I don't understand. And um, like I say, um, that's what I tell my friends. You know, because I, I used to game bang back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I, I got bloods and crips with my family. I live out here in California. I used to be a crip. You know what I'm saying? But um, thankfully, I ran into a real intelligent black man by the name of Jeremiah that really enlightened me and opened up my eyes and, and, and put me in a, you know, in a different place. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and put me in a position where it was time for me to grow up and, and use my brain and use the intelligence that I have. You know what I'm saying? I'm really thankful to that brother. And... um. Yeah, like I say, um, really, you know what I'm saying, um, some brothers really think they started these streets they started up. You ain't started no streets up. You ain't, you, you, you don't even know, I don't even think half of these um, um, brothers in the street even know who created the ghetto. We didn't create the ghetto. We know who created the ghetto. And we got to understand that we was never supposed to fall in love with the ghetto. See, that's, that's. You know, now we we want to embrace the ghetto. We want to brag about the fact that we from the block. Man, I, I was born in the trap. You know, now now we want to brag on the dirty environment, you know what I'm saying, that we was put into. Now we want to rep. See that word we always use? Rep your block. Rep your hood. Now we want to rep this garbage they gave us. They gave us garbage. They gave us ran down houses, ran down blocks, run down how homes, everything on there ran down. But now we want to rep that. Now we 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 proud to be in in in, in a messed up environment. We proud to be in the dirt they threw us in. I just can't seem to understand that. That was never supposed to happen. That was never um, the intentions, even of them. When they put us in the ghetto and they created the ghettos and created um, the economic crisis that we had in order to even be in this position that we is in today, I don't even think they ever thought that we would ever embrace this dirty ass hellhole they put us in. I just don't understand it. Yeah, I used to rep my hood until I found out it wasn't mine. 
Every street in every block they own. So how am I going to rep a street that doesn't belong to me? None of those streets out there belong to you. They can come through there and they can bulldoze those streets down anytime they want to. They own it. You don't own nothing. They can come there and change that street to Fag Street if they want to. They can turn around and change that street to you ain't a damn thing street. So if they change that street to you ain't a damn thing street and name it, use a dumbass. Well, is you going to rep dumbass block? Is you going to say I'm from I'm from the uh, uh, retarded hood? If they named it retarded, if they named, named it fag street, would you be out there throwing up your seeds talking about I'm from I'm from that fag street block? Because they are most definitely in control of what is being named. They can change the name anytime they want to. See, so you repping streets that don't even belong to you. You repping hoods that don't even belong to you. You own none of it. I mean, y'all really got to help me out with this one. I mean, tell me, am I tripping? You know, am I tripping? Because I really need to know. Because I was just thinking about it. And it really just knocked me out of nowhere. Like I was just kicking back. Thinking about I don't know what. Because I do a whole lot of thinking. And all of a sudden it just baffled me. Like who created the hood? Who created the traps? Who created the blocks? And why is we repping these streets now? Why is we repping these, these, these streets that was was put there to set us up in the first place. Why is we repping streets now? Why is we repping the dirty environment they put us in? We was never supposed to rep that. I hope I just want to, you know, just say that to you brothers out there. You was never supposed to embrace the environment that you embrace in right now. You was never supposed to embrace that. But now it's 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 a badge of honor. Oh man, I'm from the hood. Oh, is he really from the hood? Is he real? Is he really from the trap? Oh man, nah, oh, man, he ain't no, he ain't no block nigga. Man, he ain't that nigga ain't from the block, man. You know what I mean? We we rep it like it's an honor now. Oh man, you ain't real. You ain't from the hood. You ain't from the block. Like, man, for real, it's like, somebody please, like, man, just throw it back at me. I mean, good comments, bad comments. Man, I need, man, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, whatever. Cuss me out. I don't care. I just need some feedback. Because I just don't understand how we embrace in this environment. I don't embrace this environment. I used to. I used to love my block. I used to be ready to do whatever it took or lose whatever it took to rep my block until I found out it wasn't mine. Until I found out that this hood that me and my boys thought we started, we never started it. We was repping a hood and a block in the ghetto that we didn't have nothing to do with creating. So, any of you brothers out there talking about that you started your blocks up and you repping your block and you say that you, you you the pioneers and you and you created that block. You didn't create that block. The white man did. Sorry to tell you that really don't want to break your heart. But I'm going to tell you the truth. You didn't start that. You didn't start that trap life. That stuff you rapping about that trap and stuff. White man started that trap. He created that trap. And only problem is. Is now we embracing it. And I just hope that we wake up and stop embracing this dirt that they threw us. And start understanding that we ain't supposed to embrace it. You're supposed to try to find a way to get the hell up out of it. And to come back and help some brothers get up out of it too. That's what I hope. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what... You know what I'm saying? That's that's the truth about the matter when it really comes down to who started the ghetto and who created the ghetto. And we need to really take time to educate ourselves and sit down and read some history and really find out why the hood was started in the first place. I think we done lost 
the understanding of that and the lack of knowledge. We fall by the lack of knowledge. We don't have the knowledge to understand that the very things you're doing out there was 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 was, was nothing but a setup. It was nothing but a, 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 a pre-planned destination for you. You're just basically playing out what was planned for you behind unseen hands. And we just got to understand that. You did not create no block. And all at the same time, we need to stop embracing the hood. We need to stop doing that. You're not supposed to. You was never, ever supposed to embrace the hood. When you go back to the 60s and 70s, brothers wanted to get out of the hood. See, they didn't embrace it. They never embraced it. The, the brothers of the 60s and 70s, they didn't embrace it. They knew it was a trap. They knew who had created the hood. They knew that it was just a setup. That's why they marched all the time. That's why they repped it. That's why they became Black Panthers. Because they knew this was nothing but a setup. The drugs they dropped in the neighborhoods for us to sell, they knew it was a setup. But in 2012, in the new age, now we embrace it. See, we don't got the knowledge they had back in the 70s. We're not built like the way they were built. They were built knowing. In 2012, as black men and as black people, we are blinded. We are so blind, we don't even know how blind we is to the whole situation. And the only thing we got to do is just educate ourselves and your eyes will be open when you really start to understand that you was never, ever supposed to embrace the hood. Somebody hit me back. Give me some feedback. Let me know what's going on. You know, um, just give it to me raw, man. Keep it 100, man. Give it to me raw. Tell me what you really feel about this video. You know what I'm saying? From, from my perspective and from your perspectives. Hit me back, man. One love.